So past few months have been quite interesting, especially in mobile processor space. Yeah, the number of processors that have been launched in past 12 to 18 months is just crazy. Probably more processors were launched in last 12 to 18 months than preceding two or three years or even more than that. And the reason being MediaTek, which generally was a poorer cousin of Qualcomm, has risen up. They have come up with processors that are competent and smartphones on these MediaTek, especially the P series processors have been quite good and they are giving good competition to Qualcomm. And so what does Qualcomm do? They are coming out with new processor probably every month. In last four or five months, at least three of them have been announced. And these processors, new processors are actually not big jump from their predecessors. They are kind of incremental updates, newer ones. So please understand that this processor takes a lot of time efforts, probably R&D of about six months, one year, and then someone can come up with a completely new one. But when it comes to incremental updates, like the one which Qualcomm has launched, the SD712 mobile platform as they call it, is again a slight upgrade over 710. In this video, I'm going to tell you what should you expect from 712, the new processor from Qualcomm. Friends, before we move forward, if you have not subscribed to our channel, make sure you do and hit that bell icon for all the notifications. Let me first start by telling you the architecture is exactly the same what it was on 710. Cryo 360 cores are the ones which are used. The only thing is they are slightly overclocked. Instead of 2.2 on 710, it's 2.3 gigahertz on 712 platform. Which is what MediaTek with P60 and then introducing P70, exactly the same. And Qualcomm has done the same. While it is on the same 10nm architecture which 710 was and 712 is, it has started now supporting Quick Charge 4.0 plus, which means any smartphone on this particular platform will charge up to 50% in just 15 minutes. Everything else, you take AI engine, you take connectivity, Audio, they have made slight difference. They have introduced something called as acoustic for gaming because this is a performance boost of up to 10% as compared to 710. So audio, they have improved a bit. But other than that, if you look at modem, connectivity, everything else remains the same as it is on 710. And Qualcomm even says that this boost is up to 10% the performance boost and this is especially for gaming so any phones that want to you know attract gaming crowd you know so this 712 is going to be a good processor for those kind of smartphones other than that 712 is just the same as 710 another thing interesting that has happened that i wanted to speak was introduction of 7 series so essentially this is 6 series but high end 6 series but Qualcomm decided no we wanted something else. So that incremental updates of processors is all because of this and that's why it's not from 710 it is not 720 it is 712 just a slight jump. When it comes to Antutu scores on 710 generally it used to be around 1,70,000 or something. If I have to guess what 712 will be it will be around 185 to 190. So that is that is the amount of boost it is going to get. Another thing I wanted to tell you, like we have a 7 series newly launched 7 series between 6 and 8 series in Qualcomm Snapdragon processors, we may see in 2019 a 5 series coming between 4 and 6. Because there are so many smartphones launching, so many, I can't tell you, every week, especially in India, we have about 2 to 3 launches and they need processors and they need different kinds of processors. So this 5 series, 7 series, probably a 9 series, I don't know. So this may come. You tell us what do you think? How is this space growing, evolving? You tell me what will you see or we see in coming probably 12 to 18 months. Make sure you do. And friends, if you like this video, don't forget to hit a like button. I want to ask you one question. What do you think? What is the future of this space? mobile processor space for next 12, 18 months or 24 months. In next two years, what is going to happen? Will we see any new players? Will we see more AI enabled processors coming? Anything that you want to share, I would love to know. So friends, that's about it in this video. Until next time, keep tracking.